have a no conflict of interest provision as president. It was many, many years old. This is for presidents because they don't want presidents getting, I, I understand, they don't want presidents getting tangled up in minutia. They want a president to run the country. So I could actually run my business. I could actually run my business and run government at the same time. I don't like the way that looks, but I would be able to do that if I wanted to. I'd be the only one that would be able to do that. You can't do that in any other capacity. But as a president, I could run the Trump Organization, great, great company, and I could run the company, I, the country. I do a very good job, but I don't want to do that. Uh, well, I'm not releasing the tax returns because, as you know, they're under audit. Oh, gee, I've never heard that. Oh, the, gee, I've never heard that. I've never heard that before. You know, the only one that cares about my tax returns are the reporters, okay? They're the only ones. But, but no, I don't think so. I, I won. I mean, I became president. No, I don't think they care at all. They, I don't think they care at all. I think you care. I think you care. First of all, you learn very little from a tax return. What you should do is go down to federal elections and take a look at the numbers. And actually, people have learned a lot about my company. And now they realize my company is much bigger, much more powerful than they ever thought. We're in many, many countries, and I'm very proud of it. And what I'm going to be doing is my two sons, who are right here, Don and Eric, are going to be running the company. They are going to be running it in a very professional manner. They're not going to discuss it with me. Again, I don't have to do this. They're not going to discuss it with me. The Trump brand is key to the value of the Trump Organization's assets. If President-elect Trump sold his brand, he would be entitled to royalties for the use of it. And this would result in the trust re retaining an interest in the brand without the ability to assure that it does not exploit the office of the presidency. Further, whatever price was paid would be subject to criticism and scrutiny. Was it too high? Is there pay for play? Was it too much paid to curry favor with the president-elect? And selling his assets without the rights to the brand would greatly diminish the value of the assets and create a fire sale. President-elect Trump should not be expected to destroy the company he built. This plan offers a suitable alternative to address the concerns of the American people.